Aloha. Today we have a guy that says he's going to apologize. I don't know why. He says he's a Catholic apologist. I don't know why he would do that. No, we have Carlo Broussard returning. We very rare have, rarely have returning guests who's a Catholic apologist. And we're going to be talking about his book, Meeting the Protestant Challenge. And, and they do challenge us in so many ways. Uh, we look at our, our Protestant brothers and sisters, and so many of them have such a beautiful, deep walk with the Lord. And yet there's uh, such a confusion. We, we don't communicate. We, we misuse terminology. And so often uh, Protestants will, will say, well, Catholics believe this. And we go, well, no, we don't. Well, then Catholics believe that. No, we don't. In fact, if we believe most of what Protestants say we believe, we probably wouldn't be Catholic either. And yet there are some things that I think because we're Catholic and we, are from, we have the fullness of faith, we maybe can shed some light for our Protestant brothers and sisters and share with some, uh, some of the deeper uh, parts of our faith. And we'd love to do that today. This is the Bear Wozniak Adventure. We'll be back with our guest, Carlo Broussard. Welcome to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. Kickstart that engine and roll thunder with the pack. Explore the grittiness of manly spirituality. Gain traction in the virtues. Zoop up your spiritual engine by turning adversity into adventure. Now here's Bear Wozniak. Let's ride. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. You know, the whole modern apologetics movement started by our founder here at Catholic Answers, Carl Keating, in the late 80s, was centered around that fundamental question of where's that in the Bible and yeah. centered on the Catholic Protestant conversation and the Catholic trying to meet that challenge, you know, of providing mm -hmm. biblical evidence in order to satisfy the Protestant inquirer. Right. Right. Well, there's actually another, the interesting thing about that challenge bears that as a Catholic, we're not required to meet that challenge because it operates on sola scriptura. We can simply say, well, I don't need to provide a biblical passage for this belief because we don't need to have it in sacred scripture. We have it on sacred tradition or the church teaches it, right? Right. That's not going to be satisfying for a Protestant, but at least it's coherent on the Catholic worldview. But there's actually another form of a Protestant challenge, and it's this, how can the church teach X, fill in the blank, when the Bible says why? Well, in order to have a principle of unity, I mean, Paul is all about in his epistles about being one in mind. Jesus prayed it himself in John 17, Father, that they may be one. It doesn't make sense that Jesus wouldn't give us at least the means by which we can do Dude, he's a, he's a good builder, right? Amen. He had an Amen. architect. He had a plan. He didn't just say, here, I'm throwing all this stuff out. You guys figure it out. And you know, that, that was principle of unity is what we were talking about before the break, the papacy and St. Peter, right? And his successors in the bishopric of Rome. And we see this played out in the first century of the Christian church, that whenever there was a major dispute, one of the biggest disputes in the history of the church, namely, how is a man to be saved, right? Yeah. Does he have to be circumcised and hold fast to the Mosaic law in order to be saved along with belief in Jesus? Or is it belief in Jesus and that faith in God's grace by which we're saved? And what we discover in Acts chapter 15, Bear, is that this was a big issue. It wasn't a small thing. And even Paul and Barnabas couldn't settle the matter. So Luke tells us that in order to talk about this, they take it up to... I don't want you to miss out on your free stuff at deepadventure.com. Go there and subscribe to our weekly email newsletter. You get free video content, including the Bear Wozniak radio show, video version on YouTube before it even airs on EWTN. And you can follow us on all of our social media. Go to deepadventure.com and subscribe. Plus, good stuff happens when you support us at patreon.com forward slash Bear Wozniak Deep Adventure. You get instant access to every radio show, Bear Wozniak Adventure, and our TV episodes, Long Ride Home, the instant we produce them, months before they even air. Plus, we give you all kinds of free stuff, coffee cups, t-shirts, and other things like that. Go to patreon.com forward slash Bear Wozniak Deep Adventure and become our patron. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to press the subscribe button and ring that bell. 